Hi, welcome back to the channel, Feed Train Station 2, or I finally I claimed this rare train from the event itself, and of course I'm going to share with you later on at the near the end of this video all the Region 7 trains. Alright, so now um, it's a preparation stage, uh, as I mentioned uh, just one more time, uh, the importance of preparations uh, before the start of the competition. So what do you do? I mean, uh, like I said, uh, you need preparation, right? So prepare all the event items uh, in the event factories, uh, like this, uh, of course, you also need to prepare all the other non-event items in all the other core factories itself. Uh, of course, uh, you do remember this. Uh, those that require a long time to produce, make them first, put them in the output tray. Uh, do, there's no need to claim them because, uh, especially if you are like me, you have a limited warehouse space itself. So, uh, as for those other things uh, that you basically put in the input tray once the production is stored is those things that you can get back so like for example uh, you do know that most of the time we need nails or we need saw blades so you can do some tables and chairs uh, in the furniture uh, factory itself and you can cancel the order to get back the nails and the saw blade so that's how you work out on those and uh, not forgetting uh, constantly do remember to collect your gold uh, every four hourly so as you can do upgrades of your trains all right so now uh, let's go forward uh, to the start of this last competition uh, with a 210 EP hit start is something you should have already prepared as well uh, you can see here is a mixture uh, uh, or I call this a really good mix because um, there are three items are asked for one is event items one is non event items and another one you can grab directly from the factory itself so these are really three great jobs that I should retain and not bin them away uh, what we're going to do right now is to maneuver uh, the space uh, and uh, how do we go about that is really try to move away things um, to the production line or try to bin away stuff that is unnecessary so um, make sure you do all the necessary things um, in terms of uh, upgrading your building in order to get population and then eventually upgrade your warehouse so as to avoid all this situation all right this doesn't bother me because um, we can't do it in here uh, there's no gems offer so um, I just upgraded my legendaries hoping one day to reach 80 really soon uh, currently 67 of course that will increase the goal intake uh, every four hourly as well and not forgetting when they do for dispatch there'll be two more uh, inventory space to do uh, that as well so definitely uh, it's a plus to upgrade your trades all right so make sure you upgrade your rare trades as well and of course then uh, your epic trades uh, rare trades are asked for most of the time but you have very low capacity that's what causing the trouble um, so if you have done all this um, then you should be ready for this last competition to end this event nicely with all the trains collected so with the rare train collected uh, my next target definitely is to collect the uh, last train which is the common train itself so after that i will have fulfilled all the criteria for this event that i set for and I'm really happy uh, to claim more parts after winning uh, maybe second or third uh, in the last competition hopefully uh, but it seems tough um, generally a lot of people are already uh, starting to understand the EP hit start requirement <laughs> so uh, you can see here I'm um, trying to do some housekeeping at the warehouse so they can get things in otherwise the trains will be stuck and we can't send the dispatcher out to do the dispatch for the event jobs itself so you please uh, do remember sometimes to get a bit of spacing as well all right so now uh, we have a few uh, dispatches that are ready to go so uh, currently we have nine uh, of course uh, when harry comes about that's part time and then we have 10 uh, and do not have any gems to do uh, 25 gems uh, per day kind of engagement so uh, i'll probably just stick with nine and uh, when harry comes about there will be 10 for a short one hour uh, but do remember how you can extend that one hour to two hours by basically uh, sending out all the nine dispatches first and then uh, activate that uh, part-time dispatcher so that we be like let's say two minutes gap and then eventually when all the night train comes back um, your last train will not be back but you know that you actually left with two minutes uh, before the train dispatchers go home or so-called expires uh, what you could do is that once it drops below one minute like 59 seconds or 58 seconds 
um, spend that one gem to call it back and then send it out immediately so in that context you're setting up the uh, number 10 dispatcher two times or your part-time dispatcher two times by just utilizing just one gem which is definitely worth it all right so now uh, again uh, it's about housekeeping uh, and then eventually moving out the items as well um, I do not have much gems left so uh, leave you to uh, enjoy the next moment uh, of course is the favorite moment Alright, so uh, with that, we're left with one more rare train, uh, one more uh, common train actually. Uh, now, uh, this rare train claimed, I'm going to share with you all my Region 7 trains itself and uh, let you watch the rest of the video on your own uh, by just enjoying uh, the fleet that I have. Of course, I'm a bit advised in terms of uh, dismantling. Yes, I will do that uh, when I have sufficient gold, otherwise, no point dismantling now. Uh, we just have the parts stored for sometimes you know you may ask for uh, certain trains and you have more trains to, on your disposal they'll be much better all right so uh, two more legendaries to go <laughs> all right thank you for watching do like and subscribe i leave you to watch the rest of the video enjoy goodbye <laughs>